Hey guys, in this video, I will demonstrate how to animate in Close 3D with 7.3. And in 7.3 animation, it has a little bit changes on the interface. So I'm going to show you how to use the new interface. All right, let's get started. So before we begin animating, we want to change this particle distance here to 10. I'm going to come over here to property editor and then type in 10. Then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. After that, we want to take a snapshot of this trace. To do so, I will come over here to this history menu, click on that, and come over here to this t-shirt icon, click on that. After that, I'm going to rename the dress, simply right click, and then select rename, and I'm going to type in red dress, and press on return enter on the keyboard. After that, we want to come over here to simulation menu, and click on the twirling arrow there, and I'm going to select animation. Now we are here in this animation window, let's simply expand this timeline a little. Alright, so something we want to pay attention here with 7.3 we want to be sure this in frame here is more than the motion number so for example if this motion here 300 we want to select this in frame here to be at least four or five hundred something like that as long as the number is higher than the motion okay and start frame we want to change right here so by default i have my start frame zero if you're not be sure to change that to zero and then press on the tab key to confirm and here Simulation quality. We want to select animation stable, okay? After that, I'm going to bring in the motion. To bring in the motion, go to library tab here, double click on the avatar folder, then come over here to female underscore v2, double click on it to open, and we want to select motion. In this case, I'm going to select dress. Simply double click, and here I have by default move avatar and garment to start position, transition animation, 30 frames per second, that's what we want. And we want to select OK. All right. So right here, this is, if we look at right here, we have transition and we have motion. So a motion here, if I look at right here in frame is 741. So my in frame here, I have 800. That is, or I can change that to 1000. So bigger number, smaller this bar is, which means I can slide back and forth. And another thing here, if I change this number to lower than 700, let's say I want to put it only 500. Now, if I look at right here, I can't even slide this bar. And another thing here, if I click on the playhead and then slide out, see right here, only the motion of the avatar that moves, but it's not garment. So I'm going to slide this playhead back to when it started, okay? And right here, I'm going to change this in frame back to 800. And then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. So now I can slide this bar here okay and another thing when i record you will see this a garmin motion here so right now we have motion we have transition okay next i'm going to select this record icon here to record and once again be sure this on to animation stable okay now i'm going to click on this record button here to record and as you can see right here now this garmin motion is appear and if you look at over here right here it says remain 16 minutes it could be shorter than that. It depends on your computer. If you have a bigger brain computer, your animation will be faster. But here, since I have MacBook Pro, and I only have 16 gig of RAM, so everything gonna be a little bit slower. However though, if you follow these guidelines that appear on the screen that I show you, everything gonna be fine. So I will fast this forward guy to save you some time. And just a quick tip guy, right here, I can scroll the mouse wheel backward here to zoom out a little and anything here is not yet final, okay? We can go in later and then hide the floor, even hide the shadow if you want to. But right now, I can zoom out or zoom in by scrolling the mouse wheel forward and backward. So if you look at right here, the motion of the garment will reach to this end frame here before it complete. And we are more than halfway there, guys. Once again, I will speed up the process. It will save us time. Okay, we're almost done, guys. If we look at over here, we still have like 30 seconds left. And here the timeline almost finished. Okay, so now everything back to kind of lit up compared to before when it's still rendering, everything kind of gray out. So when everything is lit up and this playhead is reached the end, now you can click on that playhead and then drag, kind of scrub through and see how the dress move on to or with the avatar. And you can also slide this bar here and bring this over here to the end. Okay, so 
Another tip that I want to point out here, let's say if I don't like this motion, I can simply click on that motion, right click and then select delete. The same with right here, the garment. So if you want to change the motion, you also want to delete this garment here. In this case, I'm going to delete as is. But if you decided to change to a different motion, you can delete it and then drag the motion or simply double click on the motion to load it onto the avatar. Another thing that I want to point out here, let's say I finish with the animation. Be sure to drag this playhead here back to the end before we go back to simulation window, okay? So first of all, let's save this animation first. To save the animation, we will go to file here and then click on video capture and then select animation. All right, so in this case, now if everything we record here gonna be final, what does that mean? We want to adjust the workspace the way you want it. Let's say right here, and I gonna scrub through, see if I like this angle here. I probably want to tilt it down a little bit or just like that, and then scrub through. Let's say I like all this angle right here. Everything look great. And I'm going to bring this playhead back until the beginning here. So reach until the beginning here, just like that. And next, I'm going to type in the value here. Let's say I want to share this on YouTube. I will type in here 1920 and then press on the tab key and then change this to 1080. And then press on the tab key once again to confirm. And I'm going to simply click on the record button right here. Or let's say, okay, I forgot something. I'm going to click on cancel here, okay? And let's come back and I'm going to click on this slide bar once again. So what happened? I forgot to tie the floor. Come over here to this environment and then click on show or hide the floor because I don't want the floor, okay? And then simply click on record to record. And once again, everything gray out. So we can't do anything until the recording is finished. So right here, when it's finished, we will click on the stop recording, but I'm going to wait until it's finished. So once again, guys, I will fast forward to save us time here. Okay, now everything is light up once again. Next, we want to click on this stop right there. Here we go. So this is the final result. We want to first click on this play button right here to play and to see how the dress and the avatar walking on the runway. And as you can see right here, simply the dress is beautiful and the workspace is perfect. I'm good to go. So I'm going to click on stop here and then click on save. And then I'm going to name this red dress and save it in my folder. So desktop and then intro to animation and then click on save. And after that, be sure this is a .mp4. If not, simply click on there and then change it to .mp4 or .movies file, but I like to select .mp4. And after that, I'm going to click on save. Okay, so now it is finished. I'm going to show you the result that we finished here. Let's go to my folder and I'm going to open that and then click on that video and then click on open. So this is right here, the end result. It's actually much faster and smoother with this animation result. And I'm going to click on stop here and then let's close that. So here I got a viewer ask me, how can we reset the avatar to where it was after we animate? So I'm going to show you two best options that I use it all the time here. So, okay, I'm going to first grab this playhead, drag it all the way back, okay? That's the first option here. I'm going to drag right there all the way back like that, just like we first open, all right? So after that, I will go over here to this animation menu to the top right corner, click on that twirling arrow and click on the simulation menu. So now we're back to where it was, okay? And I'm going to turn on the floor here so I know where everything is and pan it over here to the right. So we want to click on this avatar there like that. Right click and then we want to select move all avatar and garments to center, okay? And then here click on yes. And now the avatar and the garment right back onto the center. Let me press on number two here to see the center. Also close the history menu as well. So that's the first option. The second option, we have snapshot of this dress earlier. What we can do here, if all the garment messed up, we can't fix it. Simply my key select that dress and then right click and then select delete and then delete the avatar as well. And then come over here, double click on that dress that we saved earlier to load onto the workspace. Simply click on OK. And now we have the complete finished dress like we started on to the workspace. So that is the best two options that I use all the time to reset the avatar after animation. All right, so last but not least, I wanna point out what came with 7.3. If I go to the fabric folder, guy, it's actually pretty cool. Double click on the fabric here. And if I click on search and then type in lace, now we have a few of the lace fabric here came with 7.3. Like for example, if I can click and then drag this one and drop onto the garment. And now I change these two different lists. 
compared to the list I have earlier. I'm going to also change that to this back pattern as well. So my key select and then come over here and then click on this assign icon here on that lace fabric to assign the fabric onto the garment. And that is pretty cute, right? I do like this lace a lot, really. Okay, then you have designed this star. I hope you guys found the video helpful. And be sure to give it a thumbs up, which is easier for other people to find this video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below the video. I promise to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, guys.